Hi, I'm Tina Davidson. And I'm Julie Matt. And we're doing our Energy Blast! blast. <laughs> Every time. I went down and you go I up. Did go up. That's All right. So we decided to show you how to build and um, basically put together your waterfall machine. Up. So we have uh, broken mine down and dried the rocks. We have the filter. Yours will come. The rocks will be in a pack and they'll be in the base and the filter will be in a box. But you get the general idea. <laughs> So Julie, would you like to discuss the uh, Sure, so the I'm gonna start, so when you get your, your, your waterfall is delivered, um, you wanna take, the first thing you wanna do so that you can use it sooner than later is to start your filter yes. soaking. Yes. So you have to pop off the top piece, which there isn't like an audible click, but you can feel it and it's just something you can pull off with your fingers. And then inside you'll see now, bear in mind this one's been in use. So there's, um, there's a, a white filter at the top and then underneath there's four little separate filters so you want to take out all of these pieces and sometimes they're a little bit stiff because they haven't been wet yet so you may need um, a blunt object yes, <laughs> to take them out a screwdriver, a screwdriver or a butter knife yes. something like that yes. so you do want to take out all of these pieces so you would have four little quarter pieces and one solid one and we're going to soak the filter oh it's a little small isn't it Sorry. it is a little small we'll fill it we'll figure it out Going to be, wait, well, you know, it's going to be. I'm going to do this separate. So, we do want to fill and put the water in the fill with the filter to soak it. It's overnight, right? Eight hours. And you don't want to come up above past the purple seal. So, we don't need to put any more in. But you also do want to soak all of your white filters. Thank you for moving that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just going to slide this one down on this side. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just would like to say that I know the directions don't call for soaking the rocks, it says to rinse them, but the first time I, they could have a little bit of a mineral taste. So to me, I like to just drop them in water for a couple hours, just let them soak. And then, so, so we wanted to talk a little bit about right, the setup, yes, inside of the machine itself. You'll notice that there is a, a big hole <laughs> and then the lip. You do not want the rocks to go down into the hole. You want to keep them up on the actual the lip. The filter goes in the hole, and then that's where the actual mm -hmm. spout pulls the water from. So if you block it, your, the water won't come out at the same level, the same um, velocity. Not really velocity is not the right word at all. Flow. 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 Thank you. Flow <laughs> will be better. There's no velocity involved. <laughs> <laughs> don't be worried. <laughs> if there is, then I don't know, call us. <laughs> So that's it. Also, usually, um, like with anything brand new, I would give it a wipe, right? When yes. you first get it, because it's coming from a manufacturing facility. Mm -hmm. um, but to be careful not to get this front unit, piece of the unit wet, because there are some electronics there. Yes. So as T just put that back together, there's a gray piece underneath this was This is, sorry, I just want to bring this out because I've had some people who've had this happen. When rinsing it, they didn't dry this piece off, and then you're putting this one right on top, and it's it's not quite sealed, uh, but it's enough that the moisture could develop some oopsies, some sort of a mildew in there. So just make sure that that piece is dry. Okay, thank you. you. I didn't know the that. Tank on there. Okay, excellent. So now we've got the stones in there. We've got everything built back up. So let's just plunk this back on the plate for now, because we have to rebuild the filters. So I'm gonna stick my hands in here. Mm -hmm. um, when I rebuild, and it's like a little puzzle, right? They fit back in. Just slide them in. A little bit of pressure. You don't need very much to get them into the to fit into their spots. Not a while, I like do. I really do. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, you can see when it comes, it's all solid white. Tina's due to change her filter, and hers is arriving on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> so we'll be. She'll be doing this again. Perhaps she'll make use of the video. <laughs> and then you pop the, the, the cover back on. It's just a, a little bit of a seal, you feel it. Now the purple seal has to, you can see that it's movable, it's a seal. So you wanna make sure that it's all the way up because we've had water sneak down around it so it's not actually getting the benefit of going through the filter. So just make sure that that's all the way up. Do you wanna pop yeah. it in? Yeah. Sure. And then it just pops right into the hole and make sure it's sealed in right. nice push and right snug, there. push yeah. it down. And from there, we start the whole gravity system situation where there's no electronics. Basically, you're going to fill this top container and it will flow into the bottom one. Mm -hmm. But just always be ready. You cannot 
This is not like a Brita machine where you keep the top full and as you use it, it goes down. It will keep flowing. So only fill the top as much as you have room in the bottom. It's very right. important. Right, you can only ever have this piece full essentially. So half here, half here. All right, so T's gonna put that in. The other thing that um, you can do and is built to do, uh, when you change your filter out, there is a button up front here, if I can reach over. Um, when you change your filter, just press and hold that button and it's gonna set it. And basically there, there's a counter on the spout and it's gonna count the amount of gallons going through the unit um, so that you can see when it's time to change your filter. That happens, don't panic. Yeah. <laughs> the water's going to get filtered anyhow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it counts the gallons going through the unit. And what it is, it's like um, car maintenance, right? It's um, three months or X many gallons, mm -hmm. 350 gallons, I believe. But more often than not, the average home consumes less than that volume mm -hmm. of water in the three months. And because it's a filter and it's natural products, it starts to degrade the moment you start to use it. So we Makes really sense. recommend changing the filter every three months. Yeah. So you can change this and set it. So we can see here it's flashing green, I hope, because it's on behind it. But if it had to have counted already the, the volume that, we, that it says is mm -hmm. worthy, it would flash red and let you know uh, that it needs to be changed. And that only flashes when you press it. It doesn't flash when you're just draining the water. The other thing, let's see, it's portable. It doesn't yes. look like it is, but it is. I Very brought portable. it to a bunch of dinner parties mm -hmm. um, just so that I know I'm getting the water I want yes. <laughs> and my friends can have it. The other thing is if you prefer colder water and you're having guests over, you can put ice in this top unit and um, mm -hmm. in the top reservoir and then when it drips through it's very very cold and your ice is filtered if you've not had a chance to make it with a Pimac water which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, we've actually been to places where they'll have one that's just room temperature and one that has all ice in the top oh, so nice. that you can have cold and room temperature water. I like it room temperature my husband drinks it cold so we just and I just go through the, the filter put it in a pitcher and toss it in the fridge. That's so what I was gonna say I have clients that love it cold and that's what I suggest is fill a pitcher yeah. and put it in the refrigerator. And it doesn't lose any of its alkalinity or any of the mineralization once it's sealed and in the container it's fine. Excellent. Um, what else do we need to tell them about the filter and the setup? I believe that's it Julie. Just yeah. drink. Drink, yeah, just drink enjoy. and be healthy. <laughs> half, of your, half of your body weight in ounces a day of water. Right. Absolutely uh, imperative. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know where Tina's water glass is. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thanks. Join us bye again. Bye. bye.